Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Thank you guys again for joining me. Um, this is a super simple design and I'm going to jump right into it. I'm using Nova Inks Pink Acrylic. This is the Prep and Prime. I use first one coat of the Prep and then one coat of the Prime. That's all you need and I'm using organic nail forms. I've been using lately pink acrylic more than clear acrylic. I just like the hint of pink that it gives my nails. So that's why I'm using this, no particular reason. Just I'm into it right now. <laughs> and I'm gonna do these nails almond shape, but I'm gonna round off the tip just a little bit. I'm not gonna leave it so pointy. And as you guys can see with one bead, I. I was able to do the length of the nail and I'm just shaping, making sure that I'm shaping the nail how I want it um, now because I don't want to be filing later a lot, okay? The second bead, I'm placing it in the cuticle area. As you can see, I'm taking it side to side softly, not pushing too hard because I don't want to push the acrylic into the cuticle area. Just softly taking it side to side and then brushing it down. And that last bead is going to be in the stress area, right in the middle, just to give this nail shape and strength. And that's it. So once the nail isn't sticky, that's when we know it's ready to get pinched. And I pinch the nail just to give it that nice C-curved shape. And I'm going to use my Mani Pro Passport. I love, 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 love this drill. And I'm using the safety bit just to go around the cuticle area and just, um, you know, just go um, over the whole nail just to take off any excess acrylic that's there. And I am going to do a video with more detailed information on my personal thoughts and opinions on this nail drill and I'm gonna talk to you guys about all the nail drills that I have used ever since I started doing nails what are my favorite bits and just little tips and recommendations that um, I personally want to give you guys okay so look out for that video and as you guys can see I went in with the hand file after that just to give it an overall nice shape then I buffed the nail and then with the manicure brush, I just removed all that excess dust. And in this little um, dappen dish, I'm going to pour a little bit of monomer. And that's my organic 3D brush. It's my favorite. And I don't know if you guys wanted to know how I poured that monomer into the little cup. It's just a little trick so the monomer doesn't pour all over the place. Just pour over the brush. <laughs> and I'm using Organics Black 3D Acrylic and Nova Inks white acrylic. I dip it into the white acrylic first and then I just dip it a little bit into the black. And like I said, I purchased all my organic products from royalfactorynails.bcartel.com. It's down in the description box. And you guys, I just wanted to let you guys know that my online store is now open. So you guys can go check that out right now. I have limited supplies, but I do have a little bit of everything right now. So go, go, go and check it out. So as you guys can see, um, when I place the acrylic, when you do 3D, this is a tip I'm gonna give you guys. When you put the bead on the nail, don't go in with the brush right away and start trying to shape it because it's gonna get messy. So the trick is to let it get consistency. Once it starts losing its shine, that's when you go in with the brush and give it whatever shape you want. And it kind of has like a Play-Doh consistency and it'll shape it however you want. And that's a little tip that I can give you guys on 3D. And as you guys can see, the rest of the nails, I'm gonna be using these vitro brushes, the oval and the flat. They're amazing quality, guys. For gel, it's the best. I'm gonna be using this foil. Um, it's called Mayan Sunset. I fell in love with it. And you guys already know that I purchased all my foils and dollar nail art. All the links to everything that I'm using in this video is down in the description box so go check that out and I'm using the gel pod 286 it's like a pinkish but I'm not using it for the color I'm using it because I'm gonna adhere foil to it um, I'm trying it this way because the foil lasts longer when you adhere it with gel and as you guys can see I'm using my LED glow lamp it's amazing you guys I just traveled to Florida and I took it with me and I just love how tiny it is it fit in my bag it fit even in my purse <laughs> so um, it, it's amazing if you guys need a good traveling LED lamp this is it and it works so good like overall it's just it's not just a traveling lamp overall it's amazing 
So as you guys can see, I just put my hand in the LED lamp for 20 seconds. Then I took it out and look at the foil. It just adhered perfectly. And now I'm going to top it off with the clear top gel by Vitro. And I'm going to be using the flat brush for this. Just to kind of cap the nail in the gel and it's going to last a long, long time. And I loved the effect and I love the result. Again, I'm using my LED lamp. Oh, and I have a 70% off coupon for the LED lamp. So you guys take advantage of that. It's down in the description box, okay? And I just cleaned that tacky layer off with alcohol. I'm putting some cuticle bombs and that's it, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Um, don't forget to... Uh, go check out my online store and you guys follow me on instagram i post everything over there so follow everything all my links are down in the description box thank you for watching and i love you guys live to inspire